being skeptical. But that doesn't mean to be equally skeptical of everything. And this is a mistake that we sometimes make. Certainly our kids are equally skeptical of everything except what their friends say. And maybe they should be a little more skeptical of some of what their friends say. But the skepticism has to be ingrained in this. Judgment has to be ingrained too. And I have in my mind somewhere a kind of a credibility scale, a BS meter, uh, that I want you to notice that it doesn't start at zero. Uh, some random commenter on a, an anonymous blog would have to work really hard just to have no credibility. <laughs> start below zero and we may get this thing closer to being right. The other thing is that time from an event adds, it adds more information and more content. So the closer to the event that I see a tweet, the closer in time, the more skeptical I am of it. And the more I'm waiting to see what comes later. And I put a lot of the things that I see online into this category. It's interesting, if true. I think that's a rule of thumb that would be good for all of us to adopt. Uh, I'm going to just tell you why I uh, put this up, because my new book is about a lot of this. And that's the end of my shameless 